Hello? Professor World? Are you here? Huh. Highpool must have not been into clean recently. Oh, hey guys. I got a message from Professor World that said he needed help with an experiment here, but I don't see him anywhere. I've got a bad feeling about this. I hope nothing bad happened to the professor. His lab has been sabotaged before, like the time Mateo attacked the lab with the Elamon Pro Burn. Roll the clip. Tell the truth. Why have you returned here, Mateo? Any number of reasons, really. For starters, to show you how great an Elamon creator I've become. Time to witness a genius in action, Professor. Elemental Blender. Oh! Carbon. Hydrogen. <laughs> Elemental Orbs. Go! Elamon before you is named Proburn. He is a propane type. Another example of my genius made manifest. Do you know what propane is? Of course I do. Uh, it's a gas fuel. Propane is used in everything from kitchen stoves to power plants. It's popular because it burns so efficiently. If you know that much, then you know Proburn is hot stuff. <laughs> Are you trying to burn down the whole lab or something? It's hot air. I'd never do something so barbaric. Why would I intentionally burn the lab down? I mean, I have such fond memories of the place. And I don't get why you're doing all of this! I think I get it. Proburn's superheating the air in the lab. All of the research equipment is heat sensitive, which means every mechanism in here is about to shut down. And with it, all of Professor World's research is lost. Wait, that clip gave me an idea. I wonder if this is the experiment Professor World wanted me to help him with. Hmm, in the clip, Proburn used his powers to heat up the air in the lab. Maybe if I heat up the air in the glass, something cool will happen. But remember, don't try this at home unless you have a grown up. Whoa. Awesome. I wish Calm was around to help explain why this works. I'll go look for him while we roll another clip about the powers of heating. Check it out. Pyrox was a good idea. But there is a downside! Hmm. Akuro, hit him with another aqua shoot! <laughs> <laughs> I missed 
Uh, almost there. Trying to cool him down this time. Could you be any more predictable? We saw that reaction coming from a mile away. Thomas, now! Your turn! Hope you like it hot. Ninja Heater! <laughs> Power on! You throw the same old abilities at every problem, don't you? <laughs> so easy to outsmart. <laughs> Why do you keep fighting us? How come you want Akuro so bad in the first place? For my experiments. You want to experiment on Akuro? <laughs> Akuro, go! Run away! Calm. Are you here anywhere? Hello? Calm. Are you over here? Wait, I think I heard something. Oh, greetings, Ryan. I didn't realize you were here. Calm. What were you doing hiding over there? Napping. Have you ever napped in a box? It's very cozy. But you're a hologram. You don't need sleep. Never mind. I have a question. Why did the heat make the balloon squeeze into the glass? Great question. It has to do with air pressure. At first, the air pressure in the glass and the balloon were the same. But when you lit the candle, the heat made the air rise and push its way out of the glass. This made the air pressure inside the glass lower than the air pressure outside of the glass, causing the balloon to squeeze and get wedged inside. Wow, all this talk about heat rising reminds me of the time that Leo and I entered Ecolize's rocket competition. Roll the final clip. It's almost go time. Is everyone ready? Three, two, one, lift off! Don't worry, you've got this. Keep it up. He did it! Come on! Go, Rocks, go! Oh yeah, time for the moment of truth. You can do it! Go to space! Lift off! What is he doing? What's going on? I thought he couldn't fly that high before. He knew his tank didn't have enough fuel, so he transformed to make it last longer. I didn't know Elamon could do that. By turning his tentacles into nozzles, he can focus the jet fuel to improve its efficiency and go higher. From here, he looks just like a real rocket. I guess Rock Skull was serious about going into space. He did it. I wonder if all Elamon have that kind of hidden power. Rock Skull. Mm -hmm. Well, Calm, I guess I better get going. Wait! Professor Wu just messaged me. He said, congrats on completing the experiment. This was a test not only of my chemistry abilities, but of my problem solving abilities too. He says I passed. Wow, did you hear that, Calm? With these skills, I can become lab assistant someday. Calm? Calm. Where'd he go? 
Oh, well, thank you all for watching. We'll see you soon for more Elamon adventures. Bye!